This is our haul out in Rebecca Island shipyard on the 22nd of December 2020. Uh, my vessel is the Sailing Vessel Wilson and she's a 38 foot Island Spirit Catamaran. I had a little bit of trouble with one engine so that we're manoeuvring with only one engine. Jamal throws a rope or line to the crew man that's on deck in my boat and he ties it off and then takes over just to the port side and takes possession of the port rope and ties it off. By this stage Jamal the crew boss had told me to cut engines and uh, the momentum of the boat was bringing it in and they were just controlling left and right with the lines that they'd tied off. Another two lines were tied to the rear stern of the boat and Jamal started manoeuvring his um, travel lift and um, had a little bit of difficulty getting the, the slings underneath the boat. Uh, the young bloke had dived down and had began putting them in position and getting everything right before they started to lift sailing vessel Wilson out of the water. And as you can see it's slowly rising. We were in the marina a week before we got um, hauled out and the staff at the marina office and the crew were really really good professional and um, did it so calm and, and well that uh, it made me feel fairly well at ease considering that I'm a nervous sort of a fella and I think we all worried about our boats coming out or being hauled out on slings for the first time and this was the first time for me. If you're wondering what I'm doing up on the bow, um, I'm concerned about the sh sh shrieker halyard so I'm loosening it off so that it doesn't get put under any pressure. Um, while Jamal was manoeuvring the boat out of the water and also when he placed the boat down on the hard stands. This is Jamal the crew boss and his team of three or four other people. He, uh, he was quite professional and so calm about his job. And I'm standing there being the owner and worried and watching most things that were going on and then once Jamel had reached the end of the ramp he brought their ladder over so that I could get off the sailing vessel Wilson and out of his hair I suppose but he listened and I talked rubbish so once the boat was on the travel lift and maneuvered into um, the high pressure water spray bay and the young bloke who had dived on the bottom of the boat to put the slings in place began pressure hosing all the muck away. Now I had spent some weeks trying to get the uh, holes of my catamaran clean as I could possibly do so that I wouldn't have any um, barnacles or hard growth left on the hull when they steam or pressure clean off the residue and it was 99% successful only a few uh, barnacle areas that I missed and you can see the young bloke who did a really good job, patient, and he uh, did the job in a systematic way. See the comparison on the rudder that hasn't been cleaned yet, and just above that and to the right where the sling is, how clean it was. And this is how the sail drives and propellers turned out after the wash, and a close-up of the uh, starboard rudder after he cleaned it, and there's a big difference there. And then the port sail drive and 
propeller and the damage that was caused to the propeller sometime prior to me taking possession of the boat. And I video recorded um, eight areas of damage to the hull. There was a lot more than that, but here you can see the wear right back to the gel coat uh, the uh, fiberglass on two areas. Uh, chips and dents all over the boat. Copper coat that's peeled away and after seven years, I suppose, you've got to consider that's its minimum life, but it should last up to ten years or more. Another area that had been attempted to be repaired and had peeled away to the um, fiberglass, the gel coat. And you can see different colours in the um, hull. And um, here's some damage that I had caused uh, when I ran into some nobbies that were not chartered on Navionics and uh, I thought I'd done that but it turned out there was a lot more damage that had been done prior to me taking possession of the boat including these areas where it's uh, old damage and then underneath you can see where a repair has fallen out now I have to accept that because the boat spent most of its life in Ko Chang where there's no haul out facilities they did re running repairs uh, on the beach at low tide and um, didn't have time to cure it or, or finish the job properly and that meant that the job was not 100% to anybody's satisfaction. You can see where a square hole had been cut out and a piece of fiberglass had been put in there and fiberglassed up. This young bloke who dived on the hole to put the slings in place did a wonderful job of cleaning the boat up. and um, even the brown stain marks on the waterline. Then it was time for the boat to be placed in its home for the duration of the stay um, for repairs and painting and general maintenance and uh, we were fortunate enough to be placed very very close to the toilets and the chandlery and the marine office and uh, the dock cafe which wasn't being used because of the COVID situation. So now the boat was ready to be put on hard stands and you can see myself up on deck um, preparing to remove the rudder and Jamal, the team boss, offered to have a go at it. Maybe he felt that the 67 year old was incapable of doing it. But we shared the duties. He did most of the work and I uh, came up with some ideas of removing the rudder that was really giving us a hard time. It really was quite stuck. And um, the problem was that a bolt had sheared away and was stopping it and had to be um, filed down slightly to get it to remove and it came off and dropped down once we um, used a little bit of force. Jamal raised the boat on the travel lift so that the rudder would fall out and the boys were going to hold it to save it from dropping on the ground and you'll just see it come loose in a moment. There you go, it's now loose and the boys picked it up and carried it to a, a safe place. Now the hard stands were starting to be put into place. These hard stands were hot, solid, heavy pipes and um, they were manoeuvred to the relevant places. Um, the strong points of the yacht, which I'd given a diagram to Jamal to make sure that they were placed in the correct positions on the hull. You can see Jamal putting in some large wooden blocks to get the height and on the other side the one of the team was also doing the same thing and being inquisitive and trying to help I got the sponge rubber and handed it to him and he placed it in position. Now they lined them up to make sure that they were fairly even and then Jamal lowered them 
just a little bit to hold them secure. Then they did the same thing to the bow hard stand piping, put it into place with a bit of wood and some chocking and a sponge rubber and then they put into place four hard stands, two in the bow and two in the stern on the port and starboard sides and they were adjusted up and um, wooden chocks and sponge rubber were put into place as well and uh, one of the team finished off the job putting it in place and it was good that they know what they're doing because they left it just inside the bottom there so that I could get to the um, board and starboard transoms to do some slight repairs and fairing and um, epoxy and um, painting. So the team leader Jamal lowered the boat down and so that it was firmly secure on all um, eight hard stands and then they removed the slings and um, took um, a lot of focus and concentration to make, ev make sure everything was right and the weight was right prior to removing the slings. And uh, you can see them talking to each other and um, one of the team then walked across and started knocking on the hull where right at the levels where the the um, stands were placed and then it was time for Jamal to move the treble lift away and do the next job so the video was produced by myself it's the end of another exciting video of the haul out of sailing vessel Wilson at Reback Island Marina Shipyard on the 22nd of December 2020